From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. There likely will be no support from opposition members, but the government side has the numbers to pass a resolution extending the coronavirus emergency powers orders to the middle of August. The House scheduled to debate that resolution tomorrow. Opposition leader Davis making it clear they do not agree with the extension. The the PLP supports enactments of measures supported by science. We cannot support the continued suspension of civil liberties by extending the state of emergency. They are just two different efforts. The new orders extend to August 13th, but the Prime Minister says he hopes they can lift it before then, but says that is dependent on how people buy into the protocols that are in place. Davis has this take. Any move to extend the emergency powers has more to do with the state of Hubert Menace's political health rather than the state of a little more freedom coming for residents of Abaco, Exuma, and Eleuthera. They will no longer be under curfew when the new order kicks in. Only Grand Bahama and the capital will have curfews in place. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. If you need motivation to get the corona vaccination, this may help. Under the new orders, fully vaccinated people will be able to enjoy indoor dining again and they will not need a negative test to travel from the capital or Grand Bahama to any of the other islands. Health officials still dealing with 46 persons in hospital with the virus, eight of them in the ICU as of Sunday. Police continue their investigations into those weekend murders here in the capital, two of them drive-by incidents, which also left five persons with gunshot wounds. Police officers from Grand Bahama's Eight Mile Rock Division have been offered grief counseling Following the suspected suicide of a fellow officer, the investigation into the death of Officer Robert Wright continues. He was found in his car with a single gunshot wound to the head. Ministry of Social Services officials say over the past 10 months, they've paid out $2.4 million in rent support during the coronavirus emergency. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 72 at Freeport, 75 in the capital, 76 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories overnight. Winds 5 to 10 knots, the seas 3 feet or less. The next tide is a low around 8 o'clock this evening. Wednesday's forecast... Mostly cloudy with showers likely turning windy, highs in the mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World news headlines, rocket fire from Lebanon, now complicating that Middle East conflict between Israel and Palestine. The U.S. and the European Union trying to find a diplomatic solution that will lead to a ceasefire. The death toll from the week-long conflict has now passed 200, and more than 50 of them are children. There's increasing concern about the resurgence of the coronavirus in Japan, prompting doctors in Tokyo to stage a demonstration calling for the cancellation of the Olympic Games scheduled for July in Tokyo. The government and the IOC say the Games will go on for now. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's Major League Baseball and Soccer. And basketball, ready for the NBA playoffs, begins tonight with the first play-in games. Jazz is back in the Marlins lineup in Major League Baseball. They open a series in Philadelphia tonight. The Tribune Sports will have coverage. John Quell and the Connecticut Sun off tonight again in the WNBA. The next game is tomorrow at home against the Fever. For all of your sports details, you'll want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. 
And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.